For sure, this case is on the agenda. Razor and Rocco must be in a prison, but we shouldn't forget about the annual charity race. Of course, everything is ready for it. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning for the race. You have to win the race and teach these pitiful police officers a lesson. What if they recognize us? The car is new and you will be wearing helmets. You aren't risking anything. Are all participants on the start? Great! Three, two, one. that we have three leaders here. Stop! Hit the brakes! That's the police officer. The car is going to fall off the cliff. How could it happen? Thank you, guys. <gasps> you, but how? We were just passing by here. The fact that you rescued our colleague doesn't cancel your crimes, but it softens the case. Hmm, I'll give you a chance. 
I'll send you to the correctional labor, and then we will see. Correctional labor? It's fine. The main thing is that we're not behind bars. I carry out an examination. There was one thing installed on your colleague's car. Here is the gadget. So, what is it? This is an electronic switch for the remote control of the steering wheel. I'll explain now. Someone installed this blocker on your colleague's car, and because of this, the steering wheel was blocked in the crucial moment. The wheels didn't turn, and it was a miracle that the car didn't fall off the cliff. Let's check the video recordings from the closed circuit cameras. Okay, it wasn't a big surprise that it was the boss. Easy to guess. How do you feel after the crash? I'm fine, just a couple of scratches. I still can't believe that Razor and Rocco rescued me. We could just drive away. Stop whining, you're getting on my nerves. Drive suit you. I was driving and thinking, what nice zebras graze here? <laughs> okay, get into the car. Or maybe you didn't finish digging here. Wouldn't it be better if we serve our sentence? It would mean that we wouldn't be guilty no more. You would better do what I told you. You owe me. So you will do me some favors. What will be your order, boss? First, we need to teach that handy Andy lesson. I'm getting tired of him. It's almost dark outside and time to go to bed. But I think that Handy Andy will not be able to sleep tonight. Ugh, I finished at last. Tomorrow will be the competition. I was preparing a month for it. I created and assembled the special car exactly for this competition. Look at this spoiler! I perfected it! By the way, do you happen to know why a car needs a spoiler? Look! When the car is driving at a high speed, the air flows pick its back part and make the car go slowly. But if you install a spoiler, the pressure will be over the trunk. And heat into the surface will be more. It means that we will have more chances to win the race. Tomorrow is a big day. We need to have a good sleep. It's time to drive away, or we can be late for... <gasps> Good morning, Handy Andy. Why are you so confused? What happened? I it's stolen! My car for the competition is stolen! Don't you worry. We will find it for sure. I'm going to put it on the wanted list. In one or two days, it'll be back in your garage. But the competition starts in 30 minutes! Hmm, let's have a look. Here are the tire marks. They are very clear. The thieves were in a hurry. Get into the car, Handy Andy. We will chase them.
It seems that we've lost them. Take a look. There are more traces on the corner. It's clear that they were turning at a high speed. Look, here it is, my car. Where are you going? Oh, you must want to look at our car. So get into the line. <laughs> but it's my car. I created and assembled it. Well, we don't think so. Am I right, Razor? Yeah, sure. We were assembling this car for a month. <laughs> What's going on here? Rocco and Razor stole my car and pretend that it's their own. We didn't do that. Sure, he's lying. It's our car. We need to conduct an investigative experiment. That way we will figure out fast who's the real owner of this car. Great decision. I agree. To find out the real owner of this car, we offer to organize the race with an obstacle on the highway. It won't be a problem for a real racer. So, who would like to be the first? Uh, well... I'm ready. Great. One, start! turn for our second competitors to drive through the obstacles. Three, two, one, start! Something went wrong. Well, we will go. You sure will go to the police station. The jury's conferred and made a decision. The winner is Handy Andy. Whoa. Thank you. Remember, my friends, if you try very hard, everything will be great and you succeed. <laughs> Opa! <laughs> It starts to knock when you drive fast, right? 
Yep, it started yesterday during the race. Oh, I see. I'll tweak the mechanism a bit and everything is going to be fine. Hmm. Well, let the prisoners from cells 3 and 8 go. But they are very dangerous bandits. In a few days, they will be in a court. Just do what I say. It's the ministerial instruction. <laughs> it's done. Let's test it now. <laughs> it's better than the movie. Rob, the thief with the gun broke into the store at the corner of Pacific and Brookline Street. There's a fight in the cafe. There's an apocalypse in the city. We don't have enough patrol cars. Why don't we go for a lunch? But Chief, there is... When it's time for lunch, I don't think about the war. Everything will be alright anyway in a few hours. Well, send all cars to the cafe's call. The citizens' peace is the most important thing. Or, as people say, <laughs> Opa! <laughs> Were we away for a long time? What's going on here? There was a message on the radio. The alarm triggered at the chemical waste processing plant. We are two blocks away from it. Let's hurry up there. Turn the camera to the plant. There's going to be a show. <laughs> Wait, it's not so easy to manage drones. But it's not so difficult. Look, when all the screws rotate simultaneously, the quadcopter just takes off and flies. But if you need to turn it, you need to make two propellers move faster than the others. Look, like this. You're going to seize the world soon with the knowledge you have. <laughs> hmm.
They are going to steal dangerous chemicals. The help is coming, but we need to stop them now. Lift your hands up and move away from the van. <gasps> oh, you were also here, just in time. Help the guys to load the barrels because they are going to do it forever. But we received the message that there's going to be a robbery at the plant. The boss wants to steal dangerous chemicals and terrorize the city. That's why we are moving them to the safest place. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> It's a great plan, boss, but not for today. Our turn now. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> it's so touching. I'm going to cry now. Does anyone have a handkerchief? We're going to the station now, and you will get your handkerchief there, and a... <laughs> the bandits are still in the city. The thieves have committed three robberies. The police cannot trace them yet. There were two bandits. They asked for money and threatened me with a gun. I need to see the recording from the closed circuit TV cameras. Unfortunately, the people from the service center came yesterday and took them for routine diagnostics. It's strange. Yeah, an unfortunate coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. It crosses all bounds. If it continues the same, people will start to move from this city. We'll do our best, but it seems that the bandits are always one step ahead of us. The informant gave a tip. There will be a robbery in a car showroom tomorrow. We're going to ambush them. They will never escape again. Anyone suspicious? Everything is quiet now. I have a pizza for Major Gary, but I didn't order. Here's a note here. Oh, 
Bon Appetit, Major. You probably became very hungry while you waited. But we are short on time, so we can't come today. See you soon. Stop the operation! They know that we're here! Good day, Major Gary. Not really. I was taking spare parts from the showroom when I met the officer. I have an idea. I noticed one strange pattern. A day before all the robberies, people from the service center came. They took the cameras or changed the alarm. Yes, a week ago they came to our station to check the computers. I think that they installed listening devices there and are listening to you. This could explain why they were always ahead of us. I'll come to you in a few hours with a special gadget to try to find the bugs there. installed a Faraday cage in your office, just in case. It won't let us down, will it? All conversations are safe now. The bugs, or listening devices, work as a radio. They send signals from the office to the bandits. This cage stops the signals and doesn't let them go out. So everything that was said in this building would be secret. Well done, Handy Andy. Now we need to find out who did all this. One more robbery has been added to the series of daring robberies. This time, it was the tour operator. It's the fourth robbery in the last week. Again, service company checked the cameras the day before the robbery, and they turned off today. It's a miracle. I'm sorry, Emmy, but we are not going to choose the tour for you today, but I hope we can help the officer. How can we do it? Let's look at cameras first. This chip gives you the opportunity to control the cameras from a distance. I'll trace the signal. This is an old electronics production plant. So old here? The thieves made a good reconstruction here. I think it's time to close our service center. It would be great to destroy the server because these smart guys can find out about the boss. Look, they're coming here. I'm sure that Handy Andy wants to check the server. When they come in, we will make a noise and disappear. Stop talking, let's do it. Here are all the cameras that were taken for checking. I'll call for help. I 
think I can trace where the information goes from these servers. What is this? This was not enough. We need to stop the fire while it destroys the servers. Open the door immediately. Sorry, but I can't. The fire destroyed the servers a lot, so you can't find out any information. In addition, there's more good news. The fire safety system will turn on now. It will bleed air out of the room to stop the fire. But we're going to suffocate. But no one said it was good news for you. <laughs> Goodbye. We're lacking time. When will the help arrive? Ten minutes. We don't have ten minutes. Let's break the class. It's armored and it just bends from the hit. We're going to be in a vacuum soon. Hmm. So we will not break it. We will cut it. Great, but with what? It's more difficult to breathe now. Hmm, Emmy, do you have that pendant that I gave you with you here? <coughs> yup, here it is. <coughs> this pendant was made of diamond. The diamond is the hardest mineral in the world. It is cut and turned into jewelry. But it's also used for cutting different stones and even concrete. It will cut this glass easily. Look! Good job! We found the part of the stolen things, and now we know who did it. However, you need to promise me never to be risky again. Oh, Major Gary, why promise what we cannot keep? <laughs>